Hello everyone, I'm Greek Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 309 of Factorio with the C-Block mod. Where we are, well, continuing to build our silver production setup, and I just remembered that I made this filter frame production without any limits, and we should really always have limits on those. So let's just do that. If we are below... 50 available or something because that should work well with uh, this stuff I think yeah because we put them in here so we shouldn't request any so we can just have 50 lying around down here and then this is just a buffer chest. Yes. I believe so. We also need to fix all of our recipes because this is not right at all. So we need Stereotite and Bobmonium. Have we put any recipes down anywhere? No. So it doesn't matter which side is what. So we do Stereotite here. And Bobmonium over here. Good. This should all be fine. Why is there no recipe here? Oh, because that's for geodes. And we don't know which geodes we get yet. So we get yellow ones here. You need to be yellow. And we get stereotype chunks here. That should be everything, right? Yes. And then over here it's Bobmonium. And from that we get red geodes. And of course Bobmonium chunks. Is it a problem to copy all of this? This shouldn't... Well yes, there is a balancing issue. Did I mess that up over here? Far side, far side, far side, far side. Yes, I did. Let's just do that and then mess it up on this side as well. Okay, there's some problems with the output as well that I haven't thought about. We need to balance these outputs on two belts. Mm, dang it. Should have thought about that. So you go far on the near belt. You go close on the near belt. Far. Close. And then these go to the far belt. I think I did that right this time. And everything else should be good, right? I think so. Let's keep the bottom one close. Ah. Uh, one, two, three. Close. And pa. For those four machines, yes. And then this is close, far, close, and far. Yes. Mm. 
And that is all right then. We need purified water out here. And we're always just putting this to 400. We need sulfuric wastewater in here. It is an output of the setup, but we need it into the machine. And again, 400. And we need the red geodes in here. And the yellow geodes in here. Good. Oh, and we need purified water here as well. And sulfuric waste water here. Good. And the same thing down here, of course. Dang it. Take care of stone, it's fine. We should get all of the chunks into here. Put it into two machines on each side. Okay, I think we are actually good to put some sulfur into the system. Do we have a train anywhere? No. Probably should just go and grab some myself then. Why are we producing some right here? What's going on here, by the way? We're just out of uh, wastewater, that's fine. We are probably out of sulfur as well then, because that's what we are using here. Dang it. So we don't have anything here. Yeah, we're just getting stuff out. We just need a normal production or resource production setup like this one. Good, we just leave some more storage here, since we are here anyway. Uh, where do we have storage for all of this stuff in a single blueprint I can steal? Uh, is it up here? No. Okay, we'll just do it again. Where should we put it though? Barrel, canister, probably just need a lot of better uh, canister storage, but I'll see ya. And we have our sulfur. Yes. And I should actually just be able to put this in a chest, right?
this will be a slow start, but I just want to see it work like I imagined it. Oh, wait, what? Shouldn't we have a overflow valve here? Oh no, we are limiting it with this. So it will fill up on this, yes, but then it's not allowed to output. And then we stop. Okay. I was getting worried. Why didn't we just make an overflow valve? I don't know. This is fine. We're making stuff. We're making resources. Purified water. So we should be barreling that up. No, we don't do that. Because we don't make a lot up there. So we need production for this. Is that right? Did I just entirely forget about that? I might have. It wouldn't be the first time. I just want to make sure. Because this makes purified water. This uses purified water. This makes purified water. And it's only allowed to tub up stuff. So we could barrel it up. We're bottling up this instead. Even if we don't need it. Hmm. I don't know if we can make enough purified water here to sustain everything. But I should probably find out. Three thousand purified water here. Three thousand here. I able to make 6,000 per second, and that's only using half of our gases. Oh, also we get some from the reprocessing of this. Could we just matrix solve that, please? Why is this suddenly... Oh, because then we are putting that instead of these two, I guess. But that does look like we can produce more than enough. So do I need to redo all of this? Or can we find a way to squeeze it in? Or we could just produce it somewhere else. I mean, we found out it was very easy with steam, right? This is just from a offshore pump, I would guess. So 
So this can make a thousand per second. That's actually more machines than I had thought, but we could speed it up. But we could also reuse all of this. Why is this empty though? It's just because we're bottling up the stuff. So I had hoped that these storage things would actually help us here. And these storage things. Because we limit how many of these we are allowed to produce. <coughs> And it's not even that we just need more sulfur, we need more purified water. That sucks. And we need to take some of this out to get it. I have a bit of purified water over here. No, that's just in the valve. No purified water. We need to somehow fix that. How can I be out of it though? We must have just burned a lot of the oxygen. Or hydrogen in this case, I guess. Bottled up too much, maybe? I think I would like to just connect everything here. Oh, that can't reach. Something like this, first of all. So the problem is that we let all of this produce enough slag that they are all filled up. And at that point we will have burned a lot of hydrogen, I believe. But then when we actually start to use this, we can produce enough hydrogen and oxygen to sustain. And then some as well. Problem is that when the belts run, it's always these top machines that are producing. And they will most likely have their gases burned rather than get it all the way down here. Did we take out enough or are we going to stall again? shouldn't burn anything up here, but we are burning stuff here. Because it can't get all the way down. Wait, are we in co even connected across here? We are supposed to be, but... I think I just haven't done that for... Hydrogen for this setup. We had a setup earlier that did this correctly. Yeah, it does this thing. That's just not implemented here. So we should really just start doing these things on our blueprints instead of willy-nilly on whatever. Did we do top of valves and why? Yes. That's less than 80% in these pipes. We will bring this on even if that's less than 80% there, I guess. 
maybe. Ideally, I would just want it to flow. Actually, be pumped. So, should we use pumps? Then we can still top it up to get past this out or input here. We can also just use a non-return valve, actually. Why do we have two types of... Oh, this is just Bob's stuff, I guess. Yes. I would like this to work with the valves we already have in trains. I am going to use a top of valve. This should make sure that this pipe is almost empty all the time. Goes in there. We need to power it though. How did we do this on the other side over here? Just with the pipe. Let's pump it though. The worst worst thing that, that can happen with pumping this stuff is that these machines are just not allowed to do anything if the player stacks can't handle it. Did we then have the valve on this side? Yes. But on that side, an overflow valve should work, right? Since we're pumping stuff in here, this should be overflowing all the time. Though it's not gonna be full pressure that we let through. Maybe we should just get new valves. Or inline storage tanks would also work. Just anything that we can not have put into this input. Let's just do overflow valves for now. This we should just be able to copy paste over here and remove some extra power poles. And again, power poles. So we could also try to handle the low amounts of storage we have for these gases. And use more tanks in general. That shouldn't be a problem really. Not gonna go too overboard with it, but I think it's just gonna help in general. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And I should really do that across all of these. Or should I? So these are our crystal and chunking templates basically. And this was 
then downgrade it to the machines we actually have now. I would like it to be part of everything. So we will just do it manually everywhere. I talked about getting purified water in barrels here. Should be able to do that here, right? Oh, maybe just reuse this sort of build. No, we can't do that. At least we can't just get the underground pipe up here as I was hoping we needed to overflow into this or again measure how much we have in a storage tank like this one so maybe we should just fit it in after this stuff So we should cut all of this and move it down three tiles. Right? And that messes up my water, but that's just how it is. And we will need to just fill this in again. That's black, right? Yes, that's not good. This works. I should really have copied the tiles, though. Can we undo? No. Yes, maybe. No. So that's where it was. One, two, three, force place, get water back in somehow, should just have it here. Let's hope I actually place this in the correct spot. And then we don't need more space. you make purified water barrels you are only allowed to output if no not network disconnect please let's do wires if this has more than 1500 I think is what we have been saying so far so let's just go with that I 
guess we really should do anything instead of this stuff so we can easy, more easily come paste it around but something like that I didn't copy the wire, so fix that. Power, power. We also need power for this. Can't do that. Can do this. Why did we not get the cup a uh, wire condition here? Because I apparently messed it up. Oh, because I cut it and then put it down again. Now it should be right. I think that should be everything. Did we destroy anything here? Hopefully not. So can we just take... We can't really just do anything if we want to move all of this stuff here. This should have been fixed by now, so maybe we shouldn't do anything to this one. We should just not reuse this next time, which sucks because we have fitted all of the recipes and stuff. I would like this to actually be fixed though. So let's take the rear part here and just move it further back. So we should update our blueprints, but again I want to see this work first of all. So this is the new thing. We do need that as a blueprint to copy the water though, but we want it to be close. And this should all be fine. I hope. Did I forget any changes? I hope not. We are pumping this stuff past, yes. On both sides, yes. This is already getting past, yes. Okay. And we need to put that blueprint in here, though. To access it from out here. And we need to remove all of this stuff. How do you still have water? Remove all the water, please. Take it. Dang it. And that's only half of this, right? Because we have water down here as well. Okay. Hopefully we're getting rid of all those 
the slag and we don't run out of oxygen or hydrogen first. But we'll see. a lot of these buildings are filled with slag and it's still gonna take a while I am just gonna start from the back though removing all of this and we're also gonna need three more tiles at the back here robots are coming to take care of this I just want my boys to do it. So we just go slow. Because otherwise this happens where we take out the power for the charging and stuff. Did I not get that stuff? Was that more than a hundred deconstruct requests? Maybe. Oh, it's because some of these are actually still full. Okay. So are the belts. Wait, what? I have a full belt here. Why is that full? Because there's an arrow here. There's no arrow here, though. Unless that wasn't where the arrow was. Or was it up here? I thought it was under the water. But I might be wrong. This looks to be correct. So hopefully there's no problem there. Well, maybe we should just... No, we can't. Can, but it's just more work to let the network bots do it. Could be doing this stuff though. And then we'll have to wait for them to charge. Great. This all needs to move as well. Let's just take a little bit extra. Oh, and then we're cutting power. Stupid.
a ver. Oh, robot. Stop it. Other robots. Why am I getting all of this stuff? Stop it. What is up with you, robots? Go. And as soon as I remove that, we lose connection to those chests. So let's just try to keep that part up still. This gone? Not really. I just need to clean this up. And then we add a blueprint in here. It's at the bottom, that's the sulfuric acid unbottling. Built here, why? First off, there's some stuff with those belts, I think. They are for some reason. because I used the wrong holes here. Didn't we upgrade that? No, not those. These. And let's do the same thing for this. And I built here still because of this or what?
Can we do this now then, please? Is this supposed to go? Why not? Because of water? Yes, so. So it's still not perfect with having the water in the blueprint, but it's still fine, I think. Let's not waste all of our power, which we already did. And we should be done down here as well. Good. So hopefully that's all we needed to do here. We need to downgrade these to purple ones. Did we do that in here? Yes, we did. Do we have any orphaned pipes by any chance? This should all be good. This is fine. Good. I think that's all. Hopefully. Still. We need more power. We just take this and put down here. We will start working on this part. We still don't get gases down, of course. We might as well try to get rid of most of this stuff. That should still be available to the robots though. Let's leave it there for now. Now this might just be what stalls the system again, us putting all of this in, but let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. I don't think we have enough of these to actually extend all the way. These do not reach anymore. Of course they don't. Let's just remove this one so we can actually see what we're doing. My robots, go. Let's just do this. Why is that even there? Maybe we needed it there. Can't I see how far this goes? Why can't I see the connections at all anywhere? Did I not place that correctly? It is connected. Okay, thank you. Why won't it show that though? <laughs> That's so stupid. Ah, 
I am just gonna try and redo some of this. So these should reach. They just don't want to show it. Low power. When that is fixed, it should connect, right? I hope so. I'm not sure why this suddenly wants to be a problem, but it's fine. No, it's not fine. There's 329 construction robots in there. Same thing here. They are connected, they just want, don't want to show it. Probably because of these. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, don't do all of this work, please. Okay, that's good enough. And then we can put the charging in as well. We need to fix that in here as well. And there's all of this stuff up here. We see the connections in here when we copy paste the whole thing. Yes, it looks like it. Or maybe not. No, but I can see it from the coverage at least. So I believe. Okay. We need more charging. And I need to charge as well because I'm slow. that is that also the case in here then yes are all of our robots still sitting down here waiting for the same charging point yes let's spread them out a bit We're close to getting water yet. We don't have water yet at least. Oh, because I didn't force or place it on top of it again.
And this has changed since. All of the construction parts have stopped working. I guess I can help a bit with that. Uh, where do we still have beacons that I didn't remove? Oh, in this new area that we just pasted, of course. Oh. Player stacks. And storage tanks. And overflow valves. And a bit of belt. Oops. No, that is smart, maybe. Are we using all of this leg? No. Because of what? Oh, we didn't actually get these to be longer after we made everything else longer. And that is fine in these setups with green belt, just none of this with blue belt. I think I did that. Three on top, four below. Yes. Good. Let's just clean up as much as possible here. Good. So we have some oxygen and hydrogen available if we need it ever. Did we not store any sulfuric acid anywhere? Not in those chests, I guess. But are we actually working now than we have? Too much very wastewater, okay. And that needs to go to a station, right? We're not gonna put that back in up here, because this should still be self-sustainable. Yes, we have sulfur lying around, that's good. So we need to output it. Go. 
so we are one step closer. That did take a long time to just try and fix. We probably didn't even manage to fix everything, but again, we are one step closer, I hope. And we actually do have silver available now in small amounts. We, of course, have been blocked by the super wastewater, which is fine. Do have a bunch of sulfuric acid available here, but we shouldn't get any more in there until we are backed up up here. Hopefully, that's not going to be a problem. I don't think it is. Good. So I will need to come back to this several times and just check that it didn't flop completely. But it should be better. We also need to remember to, before building more outposts, we need to put this in blueprints again, if they are good. Those blueprints. Yes. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode, so thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.